bit of a controversy about Neve Briggs being being left out. Um, what do you think of that? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's probably a sign of what they're trying to do um, in terms of getting that new wave of talent in, moving it on from where it was. She's very unfortunate. Like from all accounts, she's playing really good rugby with UL Bowes. Uh, Ryan Bailey did a really good interview with her. She's back fit. She's had obviously extensive injury problems over the last probably two years, um, missing that World Cup, her Achilles injury. Uh, really tough times for her. She's happy playing rugby now, so she's going to focus on that. But I think it is disappointing on a, on a personal level for her. Um, Adam Griggs is probably trying to push things on to a, to a different era, I guess. Yeah. And, and, and Neve was really associated with that Grand Slam winning team that maybe put Irish women's rugby onto onto a different pedestal. So yeah, it is it is controversial, I think. And um, he said he's he's happy to move forward as it is. The the selection is always going to be open for everyone, but she's certainly on the outside for now. It'd be great to see her continue to rehab back from her injuries and and force her way back in there. Because I think I looked at the the, uh, the squad and some of the games in November, and you know there is a lot of young new new players, and and I think there's definitely a question around you know do you interpin that or underpin that with a couple you know a couple of really experienced players who can just help those young young players come through quicker but I absolutely understand that you need to redevelop and and and, and start a new era but um I think it'd be great it's good to see your back playing really well so you know um hopefully she's still got something to offer can mm-hmm. I ask you from just a coach's perspective I mean both of you mentioned there the the nature of say rebuilding might mean that you leave some let's call them veterans behind but with a player of her caliber if she's operating at a at a high level and she seems to be on that trajectory at the moment as she rebuilds herself like i i just don't know if i see the logic in in kind of uh, moving away from her completely i mean if you have a high class player within your ranks i mean are, are we suggesting that in order for these young players to kind of thrive someone like neve briggs can't be in the setup like i don't get it is what yeah, i'm saying really uh, we, we're outsiders so we don't um, in terms of what's hap- what happens in camp, etc., and what maybe he feels he's got, you know, three or four natural leaders who are ready to step up because there's a there's a vacuum, um, yeah. which obviously he would know better than we do. But um, just from from what we've seen in terms of our quality in the past, and you know, from what I saw in November, it looks like if she gets back to the level she was at, she definitely would be, you know, a contender to start. I I, I would have said, but um, maybe he's just laying down a challenge to her, you know. You know, Josh Smith left Ross Burnout. I know it's a different example, mm. but you know, someone that we, you know, you probably would say should be could be could be in a squad uh, on form, and it's a case now of how he reacts to that, and 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 the same I think for for Neve, and you know, is it going to make her better? Is it going to help Ireland long term because she's had this little setback? 